Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the fastest way to get to the max level in Diablo 4. With XP being so, so low in a lot of different activities, you need to know which activity gives you the most. First off, we do have a world tier statue in Kiova Shad. If you guys didn't know, you don't have to leave the game every time to change your difficulty. So, you can see I'm in Torment right now, but as you get into Nightmare, right, as you unlock Nightmare difficulty, some of the activities you want to do to level change drastically same with torment as well so nightmare and torment when you get to these difficulties three and four some of the things you're going to do is not actually going to be helltide so you see here helltide it's a great idea to run around helltide if you're looking for a specific piece of gear of course as there's different uh you know different chests you can open for those specific pieces of gear uh, Helltide's just not the best XP though, and if you're looking for XP, which makes your character ultimately much, much stronger with Paragon boards and stats in general, then you actually stay away from Helltide. You also stay away from the PvP zones, and you'll stay away from, surprisingly enough, Nightmare Dungeons. Legion events and world bosses are decent for XP if you're looking to, not AFK, but you know, take a little breather as you get XP, you can just kind of click around and it doesn't matter because you have so many people doing damage. But let's get into the actual method that does work really, really well. And a lot of people are doing it. So this is going to be the strongest way is to actually just go, instead of Nightmare Dungeons, just go into a regular dungeon and continually do it. I know it doesn't sound that fun. We didn't expect this to be the leveling process that was the fastest, but it does turn out to be the fastest way to level. Going into any specific dungeon that you like, the format of, and one way to actually double down on this is to take a look at the Tree of Whispers because you get XP from the Tree of Whispers every time you turn in. So you can see here you just need 10 Grim Favors to obtain the Tree of Whispers gift. And uh, to do exactly that, all you have to do is two dungeons. So do two dungeons that are highlighted around the map makes it a little bit more variety wise great when you are you know switching dungeons between each run uh, you're not just continually running the same one if you're looking for max xp running the same one over and over and over again is probably the fastest but if you're looking for a way that is not much slower in xp at all if at all it is going to be just running these tree of whisper dungeons and remember to do the ones that you don't have the aspect for as well if those are popping up on your screen like for me iron hold I have not done this on this account yet, and uh, it's going to actually reward me with the uh, aspect. So might as well do this one, get it on the main account right away. So this would be a great place to teleport to and do the Iron Hold. Do remember as well, I know many people probably told you about this as well, but I do want to make sure you guys are getting your 5% XP boost. So if you are not, make sure to go to your consumables and use your elixirs. The elixirs are going to give you that 5% XP boost for 30 minutes. It doesn't really matter what they do for you. You just need a few elixirs. They drop on the ground when you kill certain things or you have to go and craft them. If you guys don't know how to craft them, you just come over to the alchemist that you can upgrade your potions, craft elixirs, and incense, as well as refine your resources. So Nightmare Dungeons is probably the second best, to be honest, but this is just so much faster XP-wise than anything else, and it doesn't take crafting Nightmare Sigils or uh, Ancestral you know, Nightmare Dungeons as well. It's just so, so good. So, like I said, make sure to do that, and it's something you can do as soon as you get to Tier 4. You know, a lot of stuff is too difficult to actually attack or do. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on if you want to learn more about how I leveled up quickly in Diablo 4 and how you can as well, as well as so many different build guides and tips and tricks on Diablo 4 as we continue on forward all the way up until that Season 1. Thank you guys again. I'll see you all in the next one.